You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome back to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Thank you for viewing these segments, recognizing hardworking humanitarians who choose to take care of the frail, vulnerable, and elderly. It's not easy work. There are certainly easier ways to earn a paycheck. The pandemic over the past year and a half have made CNA work even more demanding physically and especially emotionally. CNAs across the country didn't have the opportunity to stay in the safety of their homes. Instead, they had to walk into the fire every single shift. Thank you to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel for initially publishing this fantastic story. Oconomowoc High School's graduation class in June had two very special graduates. These two young people put the needs of others ahead of their own and really helped their community. You see, Ava Bardos and Cameron Bandemir became certified nursing assistants through the Youth Apprenticeship Program with Waukesha County Technical College. Ava, who began working at a nursing home in the Lake Country when she was a high school junior, was initially interested because her grandmother was at a nursing facility. Ava said, there were things that I noticed with the nurses at that facility that really drew me to becoming a CNA. I saw the connections these people made with my grandma and it really inspired me. I've always kind of known I wanted to help people, but I don't think it was until the last two years that I decided I really wanted to be a part of this program. For Cameron, his interest in the healthcare field originated in part due to his parents being nurses. Both Ava and Cameron worked at the nursing home before the pandemic ever struck. Cameron talked of the nursing home saying, it was super vibrant with lots of family members visiting their loved ones for dinner. During the pandemic, it became really empty in a sense because we weren't allowing visitors in and people weren't happy with us. A lot of my residents struggled without being able to see their loved ones. The different protocols and move to masks were sudden for some residents at the facility, both Ava and Cameron agree it was difficult getting the residents to understand the need for the changes in protocols and the masking. Of that experience, Ava says, I have seen things that I never thought that I would see at such a young age, things I never thought I would experience. I have older grandparents and I didn't want to expose them in any way I didn't want to expose my family. That was my biggest fear when it came to it, was getting anyone in my family sick. Cameron would speak to his mom about his experiences, both good and bad, to help debrief and alleviate the stress. Remember, we're talking about high school students. Cameron said, sometimes she'd be up when I would get home from work and I would talk to her. Sometimes we'd laugh at things that would happen because sometimes this stuff is funny. But other times, like when I had to put my first ever patient into a body bag, that was a little bit more of a heart to heart with my mom where we reflected on things. Ava said, after a situation where I lost a resident I was close with, I didn't know if I wanted to continue because I struggled losing this resident it was heartbreaking for me, but in the end, she said the experience made her stronger and she has decided to study nursing at St. Louis University. Cameron, who also works as a firefighter with the Western Lakes Fire District, plans to attend the University of Wisconsin to study pre-med in hopes of one day becoming an emergency room physician. 
Cameron said, going through this definitely strengthened my drive to help people, but it also narrowed down what fields I wanted to be in, in the medical industry. These two incredible young people didn't run when faced with caring for those with an infectious, life-threatening virus. They continued working to make a difference in the lives of those they cared for, and I'm sure they did. Their unselfish caring and giving is such a beautiful act for such young souls. Working as a CNA in a nursing home is such difficult work, but through the COVID pandemic, it was unimaginable. Yet they stayed, they fought, they protected. So today, we honor these two young people for their bravery and courage, their commitment to their community, and the residents they served. I have no doubt that Ava and Cameron will be successful in whatever career they ultimately choose. And I and everyone here at the National Association of Healthcare Assistants thank them for their service. So today, everyone, please join me in celebrating the courage and hard work of these two young, dedicated CNAs who gave everything they had to care for the residents who so desperately needed them. CNA heroes, Ava Bartos and Cameron Bandemir.